Statistics and Excel. Combining two histograms on one chart, part number three. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, and looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet. However, we started in a prior presentation with just our data set. If you do have access to this workbook, three tabs down below, example, practice blank, example, in essence, answer key, practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you could get right to the heart of the practice problem. Blank tab is where we started with just our data set so that we can practice formatting cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. So what did we do last time? We had our data set on the left related to heights. We created a table with it. We then made a histogram from it. Now because we're dealing with heights and we have a pretty extensive sample of heights, we get this nice shape which looks kind of like a bell type shape where we have most of the results somewhere in the middle and they're tapering off to either side. Then our objective is to take two data sets and put them on the same chart. To do that, it's not so easy to do if I go to the insert tab with just a histogram, easier with say a bar chart. So what we did is mirror uh, our histogram uh, with a bar chart by creating our buckets manually, not really manually, but using Excel uh, to do it instead of using a histogram to do it and then we created a bar chart. So now we have something that we might be able to plot some other data on it as well. So we then said, let's take our data set and make another related data set. Now to do that, we just took the prior data set times 0.95, imagining this was for men, this was for women. That's not actually the case with this data set, but it just gives us an idea of what we can now do. So we then made a histogram from that data set, and it looks similar to this histogram, but the middle point is different because of course we just shifted it by, by multiplying by 0.95 on the second data set. We then created a, a bar chart in a similar way as we did over here, but we wanted to make the buckets line up to the same buckets. This is where it gets kind of tricky because we, these bucket size, if you wanna put two of these bar charts on the same graph, you wanna have the same uh, bucket sizes. So we took these bucket sizes over here and extended them to the lower regions so that we have enough buckets to, uh, to contain all the data sets for the men and the women. All right, so now we're gonna put them on the same graph. Now, before we do that, let's imagine that we just put them on top of each other. Like if we added, these two data sets together in one data set and we've made one histogram from it it's going to come up with a mush uh, just a, a bunch of it's going to it's not going to separate the two data so let me show you what i mean so let's copy this entire data set right here for the heights i'm going to put my cursor up top let's just select the entire column of z and then i'm going to right click and copy i'll bring that on over to the right and let's just test that out in AY. Uh, we'll right click and I'm just gonna paste it. Uh, let's pay, did I paste it? One, two, three, let's undo that. Let's just paste it normal, paste it normal. I did paste it normal, okay. So it pulled in and then I'm gonna go back on over and I'm also gonna take the data set for the women. Now I'm gonna copy just the women's data by putting my cursor in the drop down and copying just the data. So now I'm not getting the header and right click and copy. And then I wanna put this underneath. So we have this very large data set. So I'm gonna go into the data set. This goes down quite far. So to get to the bottom, I'm gonna hit control shift and down. That takes me to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna paste the data right here at the bottom. I'm way down here, 25,000. So I'm gonna right click and paste uh, this data. Let's paste this one, two, three. And so now we have all this data going all the way down to 5,000 lines, right? We just put the two data sets on top of each other. What would that do if we had, if we entered the histogram to it? Let's put a table around it just to lock this in place. So I'm gonna go to the insert tab, table group and insert a table. 
And so it's going all the way down to 5,000. That looks right. The dancing ants are doing their mamba around the proper location. I don't care if they're dancing as long as they're doing the work, right? You, you play hard, you work hard, you play hard. If the ants want to dance, then they can as long as they get it done. As long as you get it done. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, so then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to insert. Let's put our cursor up top. And so now I'm going to select all that data and let's just make a histogram from that. So I'm going to go to the insert charts and then drop down and let's make a histogram. So there it is. So now you'll notice what happened here is it kind of it kind of mushed the two histograms together, right? That's so you, you so you might like when you do that, you might expect that it's going to give you kind of two histograms or something. But no, obviously it's going to mush it all, it's going to mush all the data together, so I can't really separate the two the two data sets uh, so we get, you know, this wider histogram as opposed to as a, so you can kind of imagine what happened here, right? We have these two histograms uh, that we had, this one and this one. We took the two data sets and put them together and we get you, we get something that looks like this. And, and you can imagine these are really kind of two histograms like that are kind of mushed together because we, if we break them out in two data sets, let's do that now. So now what I want to do is say, well, well, what I'd like to do is show two different data sets maybe have them as a different color so what i want to do is take my buckets take all this stuff that we made for uh the men and the women so and i'll put them you know uh together and then and then put them on the same graph so let's put them together like that i'm going to go to the left and let's choose this whole data set all i really need are the are the buckets that we made and then the results. So I'm gonna copy that. So I'm gonna take this all the way down and right click and copy. And I'm gonna to go to the to the right to where we wanna put it. And so we'll put 